According to the Department of Dumb Ideas, ignoring a yield sign in the presence of oncoming traffic is incongruent with common sense and the law, even if you have an urgent case of the green apple splatters. Must poop right now Melissa is exactly that person. Oh my God, look at this one. Yeah, she has a yield sign. I don't know what she's thinking. Yes, completely on the wrong side of the road. This is the third or second time that this driver from Team Built Construction has been in our videos. Now he's yelling something out the window. In front of me. Hello? Their company even has road rage accusations against them. His driving is about as welcome as a juicy fart in a crowded elevator. What other people can't? Well, and even if you don't like it, you, you have to find to you have to find like Ooh, different ooh what was that? Like that? I don't know. Oh. Steering properly seems to be overrated these days, as demonstrated by crackhead Kathy's son, cocaine sniffing Carl, from possibly her 31st ex-husband. What, was I supposed to aim for the bridge? <laughs> Asshole! With the rise of self-driving vehicles, it's only a matter of time before we get a country song where a guy's truck leaves him too. It's too bad this guy's company truck didn't leave him. For real. Because Deadhead Derek doesn't have the common sense to operate one. Oh boy. He's on the phone too. I'm just gonna have to sit here. Think I can get through? Jesus, last second decisions. Wow. Please note that this turn lane up ahead is from my direction, and Christopher Crappy Cretan is on the wrong side of the street. You're on the oncoming lane, buddy. <laughs> you forget to have two tires, and his weren't even that expensive, but... <laughs> 20 point turn, dude. <laughs> I am gonna laugh at you. <laughs> that was not necessary. Oh, you're parking. Look at me. Crackhead Kathy's third cousin, Spacey Stacy, is so incompetent, she can't even manage a meth lab without blowing up her trailer, let alone operating a motor vehicle. After stopping at the stop sign, she drives like a snail on Xanax. And shows us her incompetence at maintaining her lane. Why you just suck maintaining your lane? It really sucks. It's going slow. It's going ten under there. Jeez, what is with this person? It's driving. She sped up when I was trying to pass her, too. Whoa, whoa, what's the rush? Oh, you're going straight to YouTube. Nice 
My faith in humanity never fails to fail. Dickhead Daryl dabbles in douchebaggery. He probably causes more skid marks on the pavement than he has in his underwear. Watch him almost cause a wreck. This guy started his turn first, but Dickhead Daryl just had to plunge forward no matter what. And now he wants to get in front of my wife, but throws a hissy fit when he didn't get his way, flashing the middle finger and yelling something. I'm not sure which language he's speaking, but it sure sounds like bullshit. There's always adventure lurking around the next curve. Oh, hi. Bitchy Becky decides the middle of the road is the perfect place to jog. As I pass by, she glares at me angrily like it's my fault she failed at common sense. It's not my fault. Then she goes right back to jogging in the middle of the road. Being this stupid, she may as well be on a show called America's Least Wanted. Nice. Okay, no, 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 let's go. In other words, stop or an ownership. Something gone. What are they stopping? I don't know. Cake bread. This is the United States. That's the problem. Right there. Driving along, I spot bath salt Brandon. Crackhead Kathy's disowned son she conceived during a bad acid trip. This driver is moving along at roughly 55 miles per hour, but Bath Salt Brandon decides to test this other driver's anti-lock braking system. Oh my god! That was as painful to watch as someone trying to serve pork at a bar mitzvah. I guess green is the new red. If you're senile, that is. Just like the elderly lady early on in this video, Granny Grinch remains stopped at her green light. She sits at the green light for at least 15 seconds. The person was sitting this whole time. What's even more disturbing is that she was looking straight ahead the whole time and didn't notice it, unless she was waiting for a different shade of green. But Hugh, who eats dog turd stew, is enough to trigger some drama. Here comes our hero of the day. During my daily drive off of Howell Mountain Road, I'm treated to a front row seat to a pants crapping show. Oh, wow! Turns out this was a U.S. Postal Delivery driver. God damn! I called the local postmaster in charge of this route to report the incident, and she told me it was this person's first day on the job, and that his move was necessary in order to deliver the mail since his delivery vehicle is left-hand drive. The road was wet so the only skid marks exist in their underwear. A few days earlier on the same road near the same spot, possibly the same driver before he started working. Right over the line, right, sticking right into the road. They're talking about going to the moon again and using that as a stepping stone to get to Mars. You know, I think in terms of the moon, which is a much more reasonable goal, I and mean, we've already been there. Yes, um, yeah, they're looking at human beings there, I think, within a decade, establishing a permanent presence, you know, on or near the moon, in the vicinity of the moon, and then using that as a stepping stone to get to, to Mars. Um, I mean, one of the interesting things about the moon is that at the poles... There's ice there. I mean, we know that. It's a big scientific discovery. Um, there's ice there. Um, we know that. It's a big scientific discovery. It's a big scientific discovery. Here I am waiting for traffic to clear so I can get into the turn lane. 
but chode chugging chapstick Charlie stops just far enough forward that I can't get out. He was too busy stuffing his face with a sandwich to pay any attention to his surroundings, but in this situation he's waving me to go through. If he really wanted to let me through, he had plenty of space to back up just five feet. He looks right at me, then goes back to stuffing his face. He just doesn't get it. Going that way, I'm going that way. Never mind, just never mind. That was about as painful as trying to pop a pimple inside your nose. Just a complete idiot. He's like motioning for me, like. Duh, 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 duh. Oh! Oh my God! Jesus Christ, man, that was dangerous. It's a beautiful day today, but there's a catch. The lobotomy clinic has just unleashed a bunch of its patients onto the public roadways. Three drivers within the span of a minute can't stay in their lanes, with the last one almost sideswiping me. Uh, huh. Another guy did it. Jeez, people, come on, pay attention. The grand finale to this award-winning show of stupidity features Zombie Zoinked Zoe. Jeez, he came right into my lane, just about got me. What is it with these people? She must have been only an inch away. But wait, there's more. If we go back a few miles, here's Zoe again, not driving completely in a lane. It's about time these zombies lose their driving privileges. Correcting one's own navigational mistake should never be done in a way that inconveniences others, but senile Sergio is clueless. He wants the far left lane. He would rather hold up traffic than to go around the block. And I would rather eat yellow snow than to be that brain dead. You're a gold thief. Some only call when they have something to sell. Fisher calls regularly. Ooh! And that's like a decision, man. This spot is an epicenter of stupidity and selfish driving. If you can't or don't change lanes in time to make this left turn, you can simply go up another block and then make a left turn. But Frankie Fuckwit is mentally constipated and decides to stop in the straight lane on a green light and wait for the turn lane to go green. unless he got confused about the color of the light or he's just a blockhead all around. After seeing more people lately stop at green lights, I'm considering starting a Netflix series. If only intelligence was more common with the general public, this world would be a better place. 
But being that guy that nobody likes, unbathed Dave sees traffic coming up on him and decides that's the best time to pull out. Even Helen Keller could have done better than unbathed Dave. Things are sometimes not what they seem. This idiot is a great example. Empty-headed Emma fakes a right turn, then does otherwise, all while pretending oncoming traffic doesn't exist. <laughs> Folks, this is what happens when a person has anal glaucoma. They can't see where their ass is going. Watching idiots be idiots is quite an entertaining affair. Crackhead Kathy's 12th ex-husband's mistress, Loopy Looney out to lunch Ludes Linda, stops past the railroad track's limit line with her back end right against the tracks. Down come the crossing arms, and she's forced to run a red light to avoid the oncoming train. What a dumbass. Here we're being tailgated by Jerry Turd Smugglins. He's in a real rush to get to the toilet because he's holding back an underwear mudslide. His pass is extending way into a no passing zone and even onto a blind curve. Oh, there could be an accident. I will hit the brakes. <laughs> yeah, at that point, right. I, let, I let that go. Christ, Here's Don Post, who likes dog turds on toast. He runs the stop sign, goes out of turn, and apparently doesn't take getting honked at very well. This team of radical, Trump-hating, Democratic donors with a track record of people like Weissman and, and even Clinton's own lawyer. And he still couldn't get what they wanted him to get. Thing they had thrown at this president. This man went Go! FBI investigation, two congressional investigations, both said no zero. If you weren't born under a rock, you would notice the sheer amount of bad drivers out there, and you might deduce that it's too easy to get a license to drive. Not only did this idiotic nut canoe get a license to drive, he also got a license to be a douchebag. This is a four-way stop. He runs it, and then... You will be found, you will find out that you are not enough. He can go choke on a cactus. Watch out for crackhead Kathy's step cousin, doped up on DMT Donnie, because he'll cut you off and then wag his finger at you. Notice that our direction doesn't have a stop sign, but his does. That was about as unpleasant as sucking a wet, greasy fart. Dash camera is turning left from a dual turn lane, but Timothy, the turd jockey, chose the wrong lane. Oh, fuck you. Last minute decisions, fuck you. I'm telling you, they must be handing out Darwin Awards like candy these days. You're making me a Leo with his head, the zombie thing. <laughs> 
Wow. That, that was... Sure. No. Time. You're lucky I'm going down here. What the fuck was that? He just pulled out. Pamela, the pompous slut waffle behind me, is in a huge hurry. Is she rushing to a bathroom to unload a hot Melvin with a cork? Or is she trying to outrun her own fart? Here's an idea, lady. Roll down the window and turn up the fan instead. Or get an air freshener. And look who I caught up to miles and miles and miles later. All that weaving. Tony, the turd-headed poo licker, has had way too much to drink. His driving was so bad, his GPS would have said, In 300 feet, stop and toss me out of the car. hardly ever have to go looking for stupid, because stupid usually finds you. Like Mike the Muff Swallowing Shit Biscuit, who paid off a DMV employee to give him a driver's license. The f*** you doing, dude? What are you doing? It's a drive through You see that? I'm not getting in front of you. This dash camera runs into more of Crackhead Kathy's tweaker inbred relatives, who both honk at her for stopping first at a right on red. What are you honking for? There's a camera! And then they both run the right on red. People like them make curse words totally useful. This is what happens when 50 miles per hour is not enough for a madman with a true case of twerky baster after eating a greasy burrito. Jeff, the turd cake chef, cannot be bothered to check for traffic in the other lane. But hey, it's all about him, right? Oh. Dan Ritter, the noisy shitter, is so excited about winning a Darwin Award he can't decide which way to go. Ah, the general public. You can always count on someone to screw something simple up. Shit for Brains Brandon is our latest Darwin Award candidate. This bus is trying to move forward and away from the bus stop. But our friend here is selfish and really dumb. 
He cuts in front of the bus and pulls blindly into traffic. That's a good one. I would think getting douched with cold mud would be more enjoyable than being a bus driver and having to put up with crap like this every day. Oh, what's he doing? He's on the wrong side. He's actually on the wrong side of the road, that Mercedes right there. Holy shit. He's just sitting in the oncoming turn lane. Oh, he's avoiding the light entirely. Oh my god. Oh, and she blew the right on red both times. Oh, I hope she gets a fat ticket. Whoa. Nice one, idiots. Looks like someone else's brain is MIA. When Forrest Gump said life is like a box of chocolates and you never know what you're gonna get, the same principle applies to driving. Only, you're not dealing with pieces of chocolate. You're dealing with pieces of excrement, like reckless Ronnie who decides to use the center turn lane to pass a bunch of people. He's about as valuable to society as the poop stains and ruined underwear. What a douchebag. Passing all those cars. I guess when you gotta go, you gotta go. This guy runs a red light, and the driver over here ain't having any of it. 19 truck of the year. Well, that just happened. Oh my god! First of all, there's a stop sign. Two, this car's coming. Why the fuck did you honk? What the fuck? You're in no position to honk. You can't even see what's coming. Off, jackass. What are you doing? Ah, spring. Perfect season to drive with the window open and experience some of that flowery, scented fresh air and singing birds. Until Jagoff Jizzy Jerkwad Johnson comes along and ruins the ambiance. I'm coming up to a stop sign, but he would rather blow around me while running it. A short time later, look who I caught up to. Like a fart in a fan factory, bad driving has spread to every corner of the globe and we literally can't get away from it. This here is a 55 mile per hour section of highway, and I would like to welcome this contemptible chicken head to the pinnacle of human stupidity who decides to reverse into the path of highway speed traffic. His move made about as much sense as trying to eat soup with a fork.
Oh my god, he went straight from the turn lane. What a dick. What a complete dick. Hey, you're blocking a lane of traffic. Unbelievable. What an idiot. Hey, look at this guy. Wow. Quiet, man. Hope they bought some Scotch Guard for their Thunder Down Under. There he goes. Missed by about 50 feet that head on with that. Oh, no. We're going 40 in a 35 zone, and that car just passed us and went about 55. You're doing your fucking wanker! Yeah, I'm pretty sure driving on the wrong side of the road to cheat traffic is unacceptable. And if these people cause a head-on, we're talking more pain than wiping one's butt with a cactus. Now well, that one's... The six. Oh, there goes another one. There really must be something in the water making people stupid. The fuck? What happened? That's the wrong side of the road! You might just be a dum dumb if you have a whole bunch of people looking at you funny. Klutzy Claudette, who might have been dropped on her head at some point, is going the wrong way on a one-way street. Uh, that guy's going the wrong way. Holy sh- This guy tries to get her attention and moves over to no avail. I think Helen Keller could have done better, given that she missed all the signs, pavement markings, parked cars facing toward her, and people trying to get her attention. Scary. Exit lane to cheat traffic. This guy used to think he was indecisive, but now he's not so sure. This guy can't handle being wrong. I was told the driver was about to jump out of his truck for a fight. He's as mentally unstable as a cheap circumcision as a ripoff. Back in 1988, we made some pretty bold predictions about having flying cars by now. We thought the general public would be smart enough and competent enough to operate a vehicle in three-dimensional space. Who the hell were we kidding? People can't even operate a vehicle in flat two-dimensional space, as Jizzy Gillespie right here is about to show us. Anyway, a very interesting... Whoa! Fuck! 
Did she? She flipped you off. Yeah, she did. I don't. I don't understand. We didn't do anything wrong. No, we're just driving. But this lady's test results came back. She's been diagnosed as a stage five dumbass. It's amazing the lengths some people go to to save a few seconds. Like Turd Munching Thompson here, who was the John Bender of badass driving. Oh, that guy. unbelievable. Yes, he actually went into a left turn only lane to go around the white car and even a lane split between these two drivers nearly causing a crash. Let's not forget about this idiot making a last second decision and cutting across multiple lanes. Wow, what Looks like turd munching Thompson didn't get anywhere much faster. Whoa, that is crazy. So now we have Turd Munching Thompson's brother, Ted Whaler, the fart gas inhaler, who cheats the line of traffic of all of us who waited patiently for these left turn lanes. Like a crusty jizz stain, he is determined to get ahead of everyone, no matter how fast above the limit it takes. Now he's tailgating the crap out of us and impersonating a hemorrhoid at 65 miles per hour and a 55. We don't normally honk in situations like this, but he had it coming after his lengthy Academy Award winning douchebaggery act. actually coming right up. Whoa, really? Oh, that's legal. What? Not. The guy just went around him in a uh, center turn lane. It's all about the we need to be sure if they just want to sweep this under the rug, if this is a school that's just going to uh, willy-nilly walk their way and just do the least amount to get through their day and get through the school year, well, maybe they don't have to think it. if in our world our last names being pronounced by other people were the only thing being butchered. But crackhead Kathy's half-sister from another redneck father, methamphetamine Melanie, really butchers the road rules when she drives. Families apart. Here in Los Angeles, we will not participate our city. Let's see. She made an illegal U-turn, without signaling, without yielding to traffic, and without checking for traffic, all while doing so to evade a traffic signal because she was too impatient to wait for the green light. That was about as pathetic as climbing a tree to get away from traffic sounds. And yes, that really happened. Wow, 
at that. This young lady has fallen into the black hole of stupidity. Not even light can escape her thick skull. Not that the light bulb inside her head ever even went on to begin with. But not only did she ignore the no U-turn sign, she's stopping to make her illegal U-turn from the straight lane instead of from the turn lane. Jesus Christ, buddy, what the the joys of being constipated, but not the kind you're thinking of, no. Zoe the Ziphead Zombie suffers from mental constipation, the kind that a bowl of prunes and a lot of straining won't cure. The problem is, her brain only processes one bit of information per second, and you're about to see proof of that. Oh, you just about had your lunch. She was not looking. Fuck you, fucking bitch. <laughs> I had plenty of room to move over, so she would have gotten... Yes, all of that for an illegal U-turn. Not even a turn signal or a shoulder check. But Jabba the Butt here forgets that he's not driving in Russia, and he doesn't give a damn. Over the painted island and into the oncoming turn lane. Wow. The force of stupid sure is strong today, because while that happened, this guy up here swerves into the oncoming lane. Their driving was about as tasteless as my mother-in-law's cooking. But don't tell her I said that. You want to establish a legacy, a conservative legacy in the Supreme Court and in federal judgeship. Wow. What in the actual hell? But then there always has to be that one guy yeah, this guy, who appeared to have attempted to pass stopped traffic, but got forced to abort his pass. He's honking at the guy in front of him to scoot up and just being in everyone's way. But hey, when you drive an expensive car, you get a free pass to be a cancer of society. We have another mentally constipated imbecile whose brain is operating in limp mode. Prozac Pat is about to completely stop in the straight lane to go left. Now it's gonna be. What were you thinking of? Why isn't this guy here? I don't know. This is not he, a he's, turn lane. This isn't a left turn lane. That was about as mind boggling as a woman who married a pirate ghost. We're about to see more evidence that Darwin Awards are becoming trendy and fashionable. 
crackhead Kathy's nephew-in-law, dopey, drugged-up Daniel, pulls out faster than his father did. Better stagger my drunk ass out here, see what all this honking's about. In life, nothing is certain except death, taxes, and people screwing things up. And I'm about to encounter the king of fuck up fairies. Lucky me. What the fuck? It's obvious that Brain Fart Felix didn't know he was supposed to look both ways. But hey, my near-death experience could have been avoided had his mother swallowed instead. We're all queued up in the right lane to turn right. What could possibly go wrong? Well, this lady was tested for IQ. Her results were negative, which explains why she failed to notice the back of the line was back here. And just moments later, this lady who resembles an albino alligator tosses a lit cigarette butt out the window. Yeah, dry grass nearby plus ignition source. This Harvard graduate didn't think things through. Majorly moronic midlife crisis Mike here just got passed because he was driving slow. And now he's about to act like his ego got slaughtered. You? Yeah, do it. Come on, bud. Come on. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Come on. Come on. His brain is not his only body part operating in limp mode. The little teeny weeny peeny syndrome continues as Mr. Limp Beef Whistle sits there blocking the way and having an extended tantrum. Come on! And now words are being exchanged. Jesus. Holy shit. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Idiot. You're about to meet the Israeli version of Spastastic TV. You can't quite see him yet, but he's harassing a motorcyclist. Right about now, his car's looking mighty appetizing to the nearest car crusher, and his license would look pretty nice in a hundred pieces. And now, ragey, reckless Ralph is having it out with another driver. Oh my gosh! What is going on with people right now? And we end today's episode with yet another ragey Ralph, an utter scourge of society. Ragey Ralph hates being rightfully called out, and he's about to get a reality check regarding his failure to yield. Oh my god! 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 Oh my
god, what the hell? Hmm, looks like someone issued a stop payment on his reality check. On this beautiful day, I'm heading to the beach to escape the inland scorching summer heat. All's going well until I encounter brainless, barren, blockhead, blundering Brody's clumsy climax of stupidity, where he can't even manage to steer through a gentle curve. Oh my gosh, what the hell was that? Nope. Not today, Mr. Reaper. I'm going to that beach hell or high water, or lunatic lemmings trying to kill me. So suck it. Here we have a massive dual turn fail caused by someone with too much space between their ears. Whoa. Are you serious? Just wow. Mr. Barrel Man, you are. Man, he just goes back in the other lane. What are you doing? Jesus! Oh my god! Come here, man! Good lord! What do gas stations and hookers have in common? They both require you to pay before you pump. Well, she certainly paid and pumped, but forgot one little detail. And now she and her father have something in common. Neither one pulled out. The light here goes green. But this guy over here ate bad guacamole for lunch and feels he must run a red light in his race for a toilet bowl as his salad shooter is facing the wrath of Turbo Deuce. You, you don't have to, to do this. Man, but things went wrong for him when this driver went on their green light. Looks like he made a last second left to avoid colliding. And now a pair of poor underwear will be subjected to a blast of hot green mud. I love it when that happens. Oh, I love that too. Oh, this guy, they're all on the wrong side. Look at that. Nice. Suck it. Here I am about to drive into the shallow end of the gene pool as I encounter a pair of mentally constipated know-nothings. Tweedledum and Tweedledumber block the straight lane because they're desperate to get their orange Juliuses at the mall. All they had to do was go up a little further and enter the left turn lane here or go up to the other three entrances to the same mall. That made about as much sense as having eyebrows like this. Oh crap, come on. What the heck is this Jeep doing? What on earth? Holy fucking shit! Excuse me, I'm in a rush, you knobhead. I'm very important. I'm Ronnie Pickering's mother, you know. I'm the Royal Highness. You shall move at once because I'm too stupid to back up. This is bollocks. You know I'm more important than the Queen.
This lane is clearly free-flowing until Ian, the idiotic turd hound, who's been sniffing a bit of the old star-spangled powder, decides now's the time to slam on the brakes to make a last-second decision to go for the turn lane, and he nearly causes a double rear-ender. Double rear-enders don't just happen behind closed doors. They're a reality on the roads, too, between hunks of metal. There are two types of people in this world. Those that actually give a damn about other people, and those who give zero f**ks about how their actions affect other people. Classless, cloddish, clownish Clarence with no clearance to change lanes when he cuts me off is a great example of a no f**ks given, crusty, ill-tempered crab. Quit cutting people off. The old man thinks that because he's old, it gives him a free pass to be a shameless turd lord. What's creepy about him? It's creepy. Oh, so. He's a boy. Look at this car. What the f is this person doing? Are they really just causing confusion? I uh, would just. Yeah, wow. What a cluster that guy caused. Rich. Doug, the doubly drugged out doofus, is about to become the anal wart of the highway. I'm already doing 10 over the speed limit, but like a mighty gust of hot wind from someone's butt, he comes blasting around me at high speed, coming pretty close. Oh. Jesus, guy. I only honked because I thought he almost hit me. Looking at his front end, he seems to have a history of miscalculated lane changes. But what do I know? Here he slows down for a moment after my honk. But his brain on meth act is not done yet. Now he's like driving the two lanes. Drug addict. He floors it again and goes for an illegal pass using the on-ramp. Wow, look at this guy go. Driving like he's running from the cops. It's amazing that someone can possibly miss a red light at night. That person was about as pathetic as celebrating rolling balls of poop. But at least they realized their mistake just before it was too late. Crackhead Kathy's family really gets around like a fart through the air vents. Her son-in-law, narcotic Nicholas, is driving like he's late meeting a prostitute or trying to dodge a case of Havana omelet. His move made about as much sense as selling a ketchup popsicle to a woman in white gloves. Continue straight for 30 minutes to State Route 91 West, Los Angeles. Break out, would you? And you said out loud, that was There's a lot more that has to go. Really? Oh my.
my gosh, what is going on here? No, life is not a cartoon. And yes, cars are actually solid objects. But I don't think dead-headed dipstick Dominic ever got the memo. Excuse you? Hello? Someone at the DMV must be getting favors, because somehow, this lady who's suffering from dislocated common sense got issued a license. First, she uses the wrong side of the road to merge. Then, she mistakenly thinks that the roadway is the perfect place to be a humanitarian and earn some positive karma points by completely grinding traffic on the highway to a halt to let all these people on the side road go. Her driving, and deed, didn't net any positive karma points any more than pooping is considered 3D printing. <laughs> Watch out for glaringly greasy, gassy Gabriel, who's just as aggravating as police sirens and music while driving. In true Eastern European driving style, he blows through a right turn only lane, and now using the center turn lane to pass more cars. Perhaps he's sick to his underpants. Here's a lovely Friday afternoon on a day where people were generally driving like idiots. What else could possibly happen? Oh, well, this nauseatingly naive nincompoop-brained ninny hammer is about to show us a spectacular display of rage-inducing tomfoolery. Is your problem. Really? Here, she gets into the left turn only lane and does this. And this is where the clip ends. Yeah, I think I'd rather shart my pants during a client meeting than deal with drivers like her. If you don't know how to handle a four-way stop, or a stop sign for that matter, the best thing to do is just stay home. Let's see what all goes wrong here with these numerous lifetime bus pass candidates. Well, this guy stopped over the line. This one doesn't stop at all. And this one, barely in view yet, not only ran the stop sign, but almost takes this driver's right of way. And then this young lady starts to go when it's my turn. You don't get to go, lady. No, no, no. Bitch, wait. This guy also started to go when it was my turn, too. Are all these mentally flaccid individuals giving you a headache yet? What you're about to see is genuinely absurd, just as much as Chuck Norris can genuinely slam a revolving door. Oh, and he can. I've seen him. Bungling bird brain bothersome Bertha completely stops up the highway in her misguided attempt at kindness, letting a bunch of drivers go at the expense of everyone else behind her. That person stopped and let cars turn. Mm. Wow, that's kind of stupid. Wow, they're gonna get pissed at her. She's an idiot for letting everybody go. Crippling the highway. This was so ridiculous, even this guy was contemplating passing her. Who could blame him? Oh, man. Oh, did you see that? No, oh, oh, yeah, I did. Made... Oh! Oh! oh, my Jesus, look at this son of a bitch. Oh!
Forget competing for a Darwin Award. Bumbling blockheaded Brian here has already won it. He apparently won his license from a scratch and sniff too, as we're about to see. Yeah, it's time for him to walk everywhere. Oh, but wait, he'd find a way to screw that up too. His driving was about as worthless as a case of dysentery. If you come across a driver whose bumper and quarter panel is held together with duct tape, it's a pretty safe bet they're a ticking time bomb and can't be trusted to do anything right. Hell, even the duct tape is pressed on half-ass instead of whole-ass. You got that right. First, dumbass distracted Debbie drifts into oncoming traffic. Look out! Almost had a hit on that car. No wonder it's all smashed up. Oh. She's now driving slowly and we're about to find out what her glitch is. She's eating something. That's right. She was eating and driving at the same time. Her license needs to be returned to the cereal box she was eating from faster than you can say Fruit Loops. This intersection seems to command people to get their stupid on and really flaunt it. Like this last second decision. Or butthole Bob, who doesn't want to wait like everyone else and doesn't need a donkey to make an ass of himself. I think he broke the douchometer. I think he did too. A great moron once said, if it doesn't piss people off, it isn't worth doing. The guy in this Tesla is following that not so great moron's advice. He's going 10 under in the left lane. Hon, you're in the left lane going 10 under. But feverishly fapping Fredmond with inactivity in his noggin is about to become a thorn in everyone's butt. He's still going at a snail on Xanax pace. Finally a chance to get past this rolling roadblock, right? Wrong. Now, peace out, he's someone else's problem now. With active ingredients that are the same as Viagra and cells, uh, and you get affiliated physicians that work with you, find the right dosage, and the active ingredient that's best for you. Bluetooth.com. And chewables can work a lot faster. Doing, man. Yeah. From Bluetooth.com. Stupid. Well, yeah, apparently they thought if they took the acting school from him, they'd take that sign out too. And they didn't get the jobs that they wanted. Yeah, I wonder what the contract was. I don't yeah. see any school guaranteeing any kind of. Uh, no, you can't, because you yeah, don't you're know an idiot. Good they are, and unless you're the person who knows that, don't let me. He's passing illegally. He's going 50 or 60 now. How do you go from 0 to 60 degrees of dumb in 0 0.1 seconds flat? Ask Danny the dopey, dim-witted dunce who stopped on his green right arrow and then remained stopped for mysterious reasons. What's even more mysterious is why this guy not involved honked in response. Gosh, how stupid can you be? Craphead Kathy's, I mean, crackhead Kathy's, 
relative here seems to think her vehicle is her personal phone booth. She keeps swerving towards cars in the next lane as if she's got a giant magnet on the side of her car. Unless your phone booth can time travel for an excellent adventure, do us all a favor and keep your phone booth separated from your living room on wheels. Get off your phone! Yeah, lady. You ever wonder what happens when a person's IQ ranks in the negative numbers? Well, look no further, because you have a front row seat in the show theater. Keep your eye on this specimen of cerebral decay. He's playing for doubles, almost causes one crash and then another. I think I'd rather mud wrestle with a crocodile than have to put up with that driving. At least a crocodile would be safer. This seems like a fairly normal driving situation. Until the one guy with a weak bladder that just can't wait and almost hits you head on. Yes, there was a stop sign here and he completely blew it too while going out of turn and driving on the wrong side of the road while failing to yield. Where does he rank on your scale of worthlessness? I'm glad you asked. Well, now that an underwear check has been done, let's see. People spitting on you when they talk would be here. Sometimes it even lands in your food. Right. And then weak bladder moron would be here. Another one of Crackhead Kathy's relatives is added again. Notice his highly twitchy steering. He clearly does a bang up job with driving in general. He's probably in a huge hurry to meet his drug dealer, but let's not make assumptions. That withdraws a real bitch. And there he goes to cheat traffic. After he goes up and cuts in line, this guy isn't too thrilled. Hey, with people like him, the future of America is in safe hands. Right. Dangerously doped up Darla is driving in the dirt and then does this. This lady's an idiot. Completely illegal. Interesting. Oh, what is she doing? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, she's gonna cause a wreck. Late for a fecal transplant? Laughably lame Larry here has never heard of a GPS, and apparently now's the proper time to make a right turn off the freeway. If that guy could be compared to a nutritional chart, what would it look like? Oh, I'm really glad you asked. Let's see. Total brain cells, two, zero milligrams of intellect, 280 grams of selfishness, and total common sense, non-existent. Some of the most unhappy people I know. Whoa, Larry. He really wants to make a last second decision. Oh, he's an idiot. 
Wow. You really have to wonder what's in people's heads that makes them do what they do. In her case, she has nothing in her head except air. Good point. The light is red for the intersection up ahead, and instead of pulling up to it, she stops a full intersection back. That was about as embarrassing as grabbing the Vagisil instead of the toothpaste for a morning brush. Not that I speak from experience. Sure you don't. Ha 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 ha! Oh! That's why you don't use the wrong side of the road to merge. It's got bumps and bruises from. Whoa! Did you see that? Oh, Whoa, yes. that guy went what? The bumper of this truck is about to spend some quality time making out with the rear bumper of the camera car. Love is in the air. I thought spring was mating season. Wait, are you coming on to me? You're about to cry some tears of laughter thanks to this raised concrete median and blind as a bat bird brain Brandon. That was the sound of embarrassment and $70 for an alignment. I think a CNI dog could have driven better than him. I think you're right. Parking, parking, more parking. And more parking. That's about as painful as shoving a pine cone up your... Up your what? Up your poop chute? Something like that. this driver can honk louder than he farts, because to this derelict brained nincompoop, stop signs and right-of-way are two concepts he never bothered with. I give a D- minus for that weak horn. A clown could fart louder than that. Oh my god! What the frick? That was honk. It's so sad we have to share the road with people like damn douche noggin Darren, who really couldn't give a flipping flip flop about anyone else. What the fuck's your problem, dude? Hello, my name is. Um, I'm 
driving on Spring Road right now by the Five Star. I have a black Silverado uh, license plate is 5951 using the median uh, turning lane to pass people, cutting people off. Yeah, the turning lane, riding people like really close and cutting people off. Oh, HJ. There's just the four numbers on it. Uh, they're going towards 62. He's not even using his blinkers, dude. That's what's... He's being really reckless. I do have him on dash cam, too. Oh, God. Oh, God. Damn. He just cut someone off. Hey, Napa. Where does he weigh in on your scale of worthlessness? I am always glad you ask. People with obnoxious laughs? <laughs> Douche Nog and Daryl. This guy doesn't know what he's doing and probably never has. Even an ass knows itself from a hole in the ground. I have a feeling you don't know what you're doing. His driving is as pathetic as a pirate paying an arm and a leg for his peg and hook. And even has the stones to honk back at the camera. Being out on the road on any given day, there's a 50% chance of seeing some free entertainment right before your eyes. Or you can come to this YouTube channel for a 150% chance of seeing some free entertainment and hearing loud horns. For example, Hornbait Hilda here enjoys getting free drinks, working with wood, not calling guys back, oh, and enjoys turning from the wrong lane while blocking green lights. Oh my gosh. Yep, she's already had too many free drinks and forgot that it's not life or death if she misses her turn. Oh, he's on the wrong side of the road. That guy up there. Oh, yeah. See him? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, what a moron. It's like the third time I've seen somebody do that there. There's a tiny bit of road rage in this clip between Henry Halfwit, who's missing some brain cells and probably some fingers, and decides he's gonna suddenly cut across all the lanes without checking for traffic, and the lady he almost hits, who honks late, and he honks back. Now she's pissed, stops in traffic, and is gesturing at him. What the hell are you doing? These people acting like idiots. Because he honked back, I'm really tempted to create a game called Angry Turds. Oh wait, that game already exists. So much for my being original. It's amazing how some people drive looking only two feet in front of their hoods. Like Myopic Molina. Whoa. How would you rate her driving? Well, I've got my handy scale of worthlessness to put things into perspective. Guys who don't watch where they piss? Okay, that goes here, and her driving goes here, which says a lot about where she got her license. You're about to meet Crackhead Kathy's twin sister, Cokehead Caroline. A person can't be any more on drugs than this train wreck. After she slammed on the brakes, her angel dust baggie must have fallen between the seats because now her attention is on digging next to her. Oh look, a quarter. A little hard time staying in her lane. Hard time stopping at the stop sign. And now she thinks that smacking her dashboard will stop the voices in her head. Shut up! If all else fails, start drumming along to the voices. Flowrite Plumbing is desperate to get around the big rig in front of him, and the lanes are merging now. He is flowing, and he is flowing right around the truck in the ending lane. Maybe he's desperately late to the toilet seat horseshoe toss at the Redneck Olympics. 
I don't even want to know, but all he did was catch up to traffic in front of the rig and didn't accomplish anything. Is that right? That is my understanding. I don't know what you're doing, but that's totally stupid of you. Old and called it involved this. Someone recently asked me, what the heck have you been eating that everybody wants to rear-end you by smelling your farts? Why, do they smell good? Awesome. All right, you're about to see me get goosed. Fuck! We just got rear-ended again. Well, the hit wasn't as hard as last time, but let's see what her excuse is. She told me that her foot got caught on the pedal and that she couldn't hit the brake. Let's go back and look at the footage closely and see how believable her story is. Okay, there is a bit of water on the glass, but you can see just enough that right here, both her hands leave the steering wheel and disappear behind her visor. Her hands stay behind the visor until the impact. Now watch both her hands come back down during the impact. Sure looks to me like she was putting on makeup or playing with her hair. Any similarity between damn douchebag Daniel and a rational human being is purely coincidental, as he's driving as if his coffee was spiked with X-Lax. Holy crap. Pretty maniac. What a freaking lunatic. He needs a hug, or a toilet. Or a high five to the face with a fly swatter that has fly guts mushed in it. How about that? Well, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And be sure to stay tuned for more exciting content.